On October 8, 2024, Malaysia's Defense Minister, Datuk Seri Mohamed Khalid Nordin, revealed that Kuwait is open to Malaysia's request to acquire 33 of its F 818C D Hornet fighter jets. However, this potential acquisition hinges on approval from the United States and is dependent on Kuwait receiving its new F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornets and Eurofighter Typhoons. Kuwaiti officials have expressed a willingness to move forward with the transfer once these conditions are fulfilled, but the final decision will be influenced by external factors. Khaled, accompanied by the chief of the Royal Malaysian Air Force, RMAF, General Tan Sri Iskar Khan Goriman Khan, has been on an official visit to Kuwait since October 6, 2024. The visit is aimed at strengthening defense ties between the two nations. During the trip, Khaled met with key Kuwaiti figures, including Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Fahad Youssef Saad Al Sabah and Prime Minister Sheikh Ahmad Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. Discussions primarily centered on the Hornet acquisition and broader defense collaboration between Malaysia and Kuwait. Malaysia initially expressed interest in Kuwait's Hornets in June 2024, following an evaluation conducted by an RMAF technical team. Currently, Malaysia's multi-role combat aircraft, MRSA, fleet includes 8F divided by a minus 18D Hornets and 18 Sukhoi Su-30 MKMs. The country retired its MiG-29 fleet in 2017, and the MRCA program, originally aimed at procuring 18 aircraft, has since expanded to a target of 40. The acquisition of Kuwait's Hornets would provide Malaysia with a significant boost to its aerial capabilities without drastically delaying its fleet modernization plans. A joint committee comprising officials from both nations will be formed to expedite the acquisition process once the necessary conditions are met. Khaled noted that failure to secure the Hornets from Kuwait could result in a three- to four-year delay in acquiring suitable alternatives. He also expressed gratitude to Kuwait for its support and understanding of Malaysia's defense needs, though the specifics of the deal are still under negotiation. Aside from aircraft procurement, discussions also touched on the possibility of a Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, for defense cooperation. This MAO would allow Malaysia and Kuwait to collaborate on regional security issues, including developments in the Middle East and the South China Sea. It could also lead to joint research initiatives, with a particular focus on emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and environmentally sustainable defense strategies. Kuwait's ongoing fleet modernization program, which involves the acquisition of Eurofighter Typhoons and F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornets, aligns with Malaysia's potential acquisition timeline. Kuwait expects to complete its new fleet by 2027, which could allow for the transfer of its legacy F divided by a minus 18C divided by D Hornets to Malaysia. While Malaysia may acquire up to 33 airframes, analysts suggest that May 24 be a more realistic target. Kuwait originally purchased these Hornets in the aftermath of the Gulf War. Khaled also plans to visit Ahmad al Jabe Air Base to meet with Kuwaiti Armed Forces officials to finalize acquisition details and discuss future defense cooperation. The potential purchase of the Hornets aligns with Malaysia's broader efforts to modernize its air fleet, which currently includes F divided by a minus 18D Hornets, Suit 30 MKMs, and B Hawk aircraft. This move also reflects Kuwait's strategy to upgrade its military assets following recent investments in Turkish UAVs and Eurofighter Typhoons. The McDonnell Douglas F-818 Hornet, developed in the 1970s, is a carrier-capable, multi-role fighter aircraft designed for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. Originally derived from Northrop's YF-17 Cobra, the F-818 was intended to meet the U.S. Navy's need for a versatile and cost-effective combat platform. The Hornet made its first flight in 1978 and entered operational service with the U.S. Marine Corps in 1983, followed by the U.S. Navy in 1984. It is capable of performing a range of missions including fleet air defense, close air support and reconnaissance. The F-818 later served as the foundation for the Boeing F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornet, which has replaced the F-14 Tomcat in several roles within the U.S. Navy. The F divided by a minus 18C divided by D variants, introduced in 1987, featured numerous upgrades over the initial F divided by a minus 18A divided by B models. These upgrades included improved avionics, radar, and expanded armament capabilities, making the aircraft compatible with advanced weapons like the AIM-120 AMROM and AGM-65 Maverick. The C model is a single-seat fighter, while the D model is a two-seat variant primarily used by the U.S. Marine Corps for specialized missions such as night attacks and forward air controller, airborne, operations. 
These models also incorporate the Hughes and Slash AARC 50 thermal navigation pod and the AN Slash AS 38A Night Hawk targeting pod, enhancing the aircraft's night and all weather functionality. Powered by twin General Electric F404 G402 engines, the F divided by a minus 18C divided by D variants can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and operate at a service ceiling of 50,000 feet. The F divided by a minus 18C divided by D Hornet has seen extensive combat beginning with the Gulf of Sidra incident in 1986, where it was deployed against the Libyan forces. The aircraft later played a significant role in the Gulf War in 1991, where over 180 Hornets flew 4,551 sorties for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. During the conflict, the Hornet achieved air-to-air -air victories over Iraqi MiG-21s and served in roles including air defense, ground attack and close air support. The F-818 continued to be a vital asset in subsequent conflicts, including operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom, where it was used for both air superiority and ground attack missions. As Malaysia considers the procurement of Kuwait's F divided by a minus 18C divided by D Hornets, it stands to gain a proven and capable multi-role fighter that would enhance its air force's operational capabilities in the region.